Hello, welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today I'm going to be taking a quick look at Morpho. Now, Morpho is a basically a, I'm going to call it a cow swap lending money market aggregator. Okay, so it's a, that's a little bit hard, a little bit hard to stomach and so forth. But put it this way, it's a place where you can lend and borrow, but there's a peer-to-peer -peer aspect inside and you can lend and borrow via it has compound and ave integration currently but it, it's it's all done on chain so any lending market could incorporate this system into their own lending market as well so i do have a flow chart for you but there's a few things i want to go through first like white paper is fully done you can read the white paper in full it's good the docs is well written it's very clear it's very easy to follow and the system is not super complicated so it won't take me long to explain it to you now i did go through and i did ask them hey guys i can't find any mention of fees anywhere inside the docs or inside the mediums however i did find that they did raise 18 million from uh these people and if you go through here and you can read this it doesn't look like your your standard like you know, a couple venture capitalists who've got a whole bunch of tokens who are going to dump on you. Um, but there are there are some a few names in here that I recognize and that you know I respect. But take you know take that into consideration. I'm like again, I'm going to explain to you how this system works, and I'm not going to suggest you to look at buying the token, whether you want to do that or not. That's up to you. Okay, so let's swing over to the flowchart and find out how does Morpho work. So here we have dollar bill and we have boosted bill, right? Dollar bill has some ETH he wants to lend, okay? So he comes to Morpho here and he lends his 10 ETH to Morpho. Morpho takes his 10 ETH and puts it into compound and gets the C tokens, like 10 ETH worth of C tokens into their contracts. Now, dollar bill gets to choose like which protocol he wants to interact with, like Morpho and compound or morpho and ave or morpho and any other protocol that integrates this morpho system okay so at this point dollar bill is earning 1.5 percent or whatever the percentage is listed on the the protocol he's chosen so in this case let's say just compound so the 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 interest the lending apy on on compound is 1.5 percent so dollar bill is currently earning 1.5 percent on his 10 eth right so along comes Boosted Bill, and Boosted Bill wants to borrow this ETH, right? So he has to supply some collateral as normal, right? The collateral is sent to Compound, and the uh, Morpho then holds the C, WBTC, right? So now again, now this is now borrowable as well. Now this is where the coincidence of want comes in, like the peer-to-peer. The -peer. Like he wants to lend, he wants to borrow, so why not? match them together right so that's what this protocol can do so let's say he wants to borrow five eth okay so five of this eth that is like currently in c eth is redeemed and then the eth is pulled out and it is lent to uh boosted bill right now what, what makes this special is that the apys okay so if you were to do this all on compound you would see something like this where dollar bill is earning 1.5 percent but boosted bill is paying 2.5%. Now, this is what we call the reserve factor. This is very common on all of these protocols. And it's there for purpose to, to try to maintain a, a pile of liquidity on these systems so that people, it, 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 it stays liquid. So people don't get utilization locked in so badly, right? So that's what these pur the purpose of this, this reserve is for the most part, right? And then also to kind of protect it from... Uh, from uh, some some bad debt and stuff they can use that reserve to kind of protect from bad debt as well because it does build up it does build up money because it's it's more than the, the protocol is basically keeping that in the sense right so what's happened here now so what morpho is able to do is because morpho is creating this peer-to-peer -peer, like coincidence of wants where you know he, they're lending this they can reduce this apy right so they don't have a spread they don't need to have a spread because you know it's a straight peer-to-peer -peer lend. So let's take a look at the numbers here. So dollar bill has lent 10 ETH, right? But 5 ETH was taken away, right? So they're going to give the middle of the two APYs. So the Morpho tracks, you know, the lending APY and the borrow APY. And if the borrow APY goes up, then this will go up. If the lending APY goes down, then this will stay in the middle. Like, so this is the average, the middle of these two, even if these move up and down based on utilization, right? So if we look at dollar bill here, he's got five ETH sitting on compound, 
using the compound system, getting the 1.5, right? But he also has 5 ETH borrowed by Boosted Bill, getting 2%, because Boosted Bill is going to pay 2%, which is half of this. So in both cases, both people are getting a better deal out of this, right? They're not paying that reserve factor. He's getting more for his ETH, and he's paying less to borrow the ETH, right? Now, Morpho does depend on the fact that Ave and uh, are, and Compound are the fallback mechanism, as they call it. If, if Compound and Ave don't exist and have a large liquidity pool, then Morpho isn't going to successfully work, right? So they're, they're leveraging the fact that these, these protocols are already healthy, right? Now, when he repays, right, so he repays the ETH, the ETH is sent back to Compound, right? And Compound then, you know, uses that ETH to basically remake a new C ETH. So it doesn't get sent to Dollar Bill, it just Dollar Bill gets more ETH out of it. So he's just basically, he doesn't have to take any action. It's not like the ETH gets sent to him and he has to redeposit it. It just kind of goes back into Compound and sits there and adds to dollar bills compound position right now there are rewards when you use compound and there are rewards when you use morpho so all of these rewards are still like rede uh, claimable by the the owners so to explain this better let's start on a uh, boosted bill side here so uh, sorry dollar bill dollar bill he he's lending on compound whenever his assets are on compound he's earning comp and he will be able to re to claim those. Whenever his assets, he's also, because he sent his assets through Morpho, he's earning Morpho tokens, okay? Now, because Dollar Boosted Bill has sent assets into, he's also earning Morpho tokens, and because he's borrowed from Morpho, he's earning Morpho tokens as well. However, there could be the time where he just comes to Morpho and borrows, and there's no there's no coincidence of one. There's no dollar bill's ETH to borrow, right? Let's say dollar bill pulls out his ETH, but he's still borrowing. So then compound takes on that borrow debt, right? So then boosted bill will pay the 2.5%, but he will be paying, he will be rewarded with these compound tokens because he's now basically a borrower from compound, right? So I hope this has been... Uh, informative and it's a little bit confusing but it's not very very complicated okay now the last thing i do want to mention is that they do have this morpho token and it does have two use cases inside the docs and the first one is you can vote right governance votes changes maybe oh we want to add another protocol to this so let's vote on it or you know whatever maybe they want to add some fee or something i don't know like it doesn't say what they're gonna all the things you're gonna vote it's it's governance you know you do you put up a proposal, everybody with the Morpho tokens can vote for that proposal. And then there's also the gauge voting for, you know, which assets, like these Morpho tokens, like which of the assets should they incentivize the use of or, you know, or the supply, should they supply, like incentivize suppliers more than borrowers or borrowers more than suppliers, all this kind of gauging stuff, right? Okay, so that's pretty much it for this. I hope this has been interesting and useful. And uh, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.